What's up guys, it's Sam here, and I'm writing a quick article here on medium.com, so check it out. Uh, it's just Sam got stole, I think, at medium.com, or it's medium.com forward slash Sam stole, or just Google it, uh, or click on the link in the description and you'll find it um, if you want to read about it. And I realized one of the videos I made the other day, I left out almost one of the most important points. So the video was, I am retiring early. What's better, earning more or spending less? And there was a couple things that I covered in that video. Uh, if you were to make $10,000 more and why I chose 10,000, I just feel like 10,000 is an extremely easy number to hit if you needed to make more money. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, if you go get a job at Walmart or McDonald's and make 12 or 15 bucks more an hour or 12 or 15 bucks an hour. That's like, you know, 13 to 16 hours uh, per week. That's like anybody can do that. You over two, two shifts on the weekend or a couple hours a night or, you know what I mean? Like that's really, really, really doable to make an aggregate of 10 grand for the year. And, and then what that means is you, after taxes, you probably have around seven grand. If you assume that there's a 30% aggregate tax rate um, in terms of, uh, how much you're going to actually get in your pocket at the end of the year versus if you cut back on your spending by 10,000 you're going to have 10,000 so right off the bat the 10,000 in terms of cutting is better um, but then also how cutting actually reduces your lifestyle and how if you there's a, a trinity study that go, I'm going to just give a quick synopsis of the other video and then get into the most important point that I feel like I almost missed out on <clears throat> is there's a Trinity study that shows like how much you can draw down in terms of your principal and, uh, for retirement, like how much you can pull from your retirement per year so that you uh, don't um, use up all of your um, investments. And you can pull about 3.96% per year without really touching the principal balance in perpetuity. I think the research actually went out to 25 or 30 years, um, but in essence, till perpetuity. And if you're conservative, you could just pull a little bit less than that. Or instead of pulling less, you could just, you know what I mean? You could just get a job for a year or work part time. So you use a little bit less of it. Like there's a, a thousand different ways you could combat that if you ended up spending more. But that's beside the point. Okay. <clears throat> so if you spend $10,000 less a year, right, that, and you, so what that is, is 4% roughly, right? 3.6% you can pull per year. So about 4%. If you take the inverse of that, the inverse is just one divided by 0 0.04 gives you 25. Um, so 25 times whatever you use um, for your, um, I don't know, actually make that into uh, a whole separate video. How much you need for retirement. So if you uh, want to watch that video, make sure you press that like button and just gently, just take your finger and just fucking touch it just gently. Don't break your screen on your phone. If you're watching this on your phone, if you're watching this on computer, like it doesn't work, at least in my computer. <laughs> By the way, this is a fucking giant ass monitor. Uh, anyways, so to get back into it, if you um, if you take the inverse of four percent, that's twenty five. So take twenty five times your the annual amount that you spend a year, and that gives you uh, a rough estimate, and it's a pretty decent estimate of how much you will need um, in retirement, right? So. If you had, if you just like, I just remember the numbers from the other video, but it was 35,000 versus 45,000, right? Like obviously those may be low numbers, maybe they're high numbers, depending on where you are in your life or if you're a family or two incomes or whatever the case is. So if you, um, and, and just adjust the numbers accordingly, either way, whatever that is, just take excuse me, those numbers and multiply them times 25. If you take 35,000 times 25, that comes out to be $875,000. If you take $45,000 times 25, that comes out to be $1.125 million, I believe it is. So there's a substantial difference, a $250,000 difference. So if you were to think about, right, like if you're saving a certain amount per year, like 
it's going to take a while to get to that amount, right? 20, how long will it take you to get to um, to a, a nest egg of $250,000? Um, even, even if you're growing your portfolio at 25%, well, you're not going to grow it to 25 Even if you're growing your portfolio, let's say, at 10%, right? That would be a good return year over year. Even if you're growing it at 10%, it's still going to take you seven and a half years to double your money. Like it's going to take a while to get to $250,000, depending on how much you're putting away. So an easier way, you could just fucking spend less money. I don't know. That, and I touched on that very briefly and I didn't actually dive into it. But the if, if you, like I would much rather live off of 900 grand than 1.1 million and 35,000 versus 45,000 if that meant I got to do it 10 years earlier. My time is fucking more important to me than that money, for sure. And I have a feeling that um, if you had that dialogue with yourself and you start, ha- sat down and actually had a conversation with the, your spouse, um, she'd probably feel the same way. And and that has to be an honest, like you have to build a foundation to be able to talk, ha- have these types of conversations. And cutting back on spending is not like you got to cut back on this and this and this. They're like, yo, I'm going to cut back on this. I'm going to get rid of my car and buy a, a, a much cheaper car and I'm going to cancel, you know, this subscription that I have and this thing right here, you know, and before you know it, your spouse is on board because they just see you taking action. Don't tell them what to do. Let them live the life they want to live. Uh, she wants to live. Okay. <clears throat> so the other thing is, and I completely missed this point of it. This is the point that I mentioned at the beginning of the video is that you... Um, as I briefly touched on it, if you make 12 bucks an hour, you need to work about 16 hours per week. Or if you make uh, 15 bucks an hour, you need to work uh, 16 hours per week. Or obviously if you make 30 bucks an hour, it's going to be even less. However, that's still your time. And that's tremendous. Like for me, who's so fucking weird about his time that like, I would not make that trade off. I would not make that trade off. It's just not worth it to me. My time is just way like I don't want to spend that much time. Like you're gonna have to pay me a shitload of money to fucking spend my time doing that. I just I just wouldn't do that. It's just not worth it to me. You know what I mean? And and everybody's at a different point in their life. Everybody's different point in their life completely. But by um, spending less, um, I can remove the. That, that really long time horizon that I would need to to um, retire, say that 1.1 down 10 years, right? So at my current savings rate, uh, I should be retiring in my early 40s. That's that's not that that's not that long. That's not that far away to be able to have a nest egg the size that will support me for the rest of my life. And you're like, well, what are you going to do at 43, 42 years old? I'm, I'm sure I can come up with plenty of things to do. Um, and that's if it even, if I even wait till 42, because maybe I decide I want to do it before 42. Anyways, um, thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any thoughts on any of this, or if you uh, have questions on how to do your financial planning, like I'm not a financial planner. I just have an MBA and a CFA and a bunch of other um, um, certifications and just do this for fun. But if you have questions, I'm happy to help out or point you in the right direction on where to get started. Um, Just leave me a comment down below or come say on, come say what's up on uh, Instagram, just like that. Come say what's up on Instagram, and I will make sure to get back to you. Um, but before you do that, there's the uh, that button. If that button down there that says subscribe is not red yet, then you know what you have to do. You need to go press that fucking button until it is not red anymore, okay? And there's that little bell notification that had those like parentheses around it. Just just go press that too. That'll notify you every time I post a video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.